fuck off, this is my job, damn it. I know how to compose a shot. This is me. This is my camera, my van. Hello, people. Get in the van! I'm going to AA. Nothing makes sense. No. Not when, not when alcohol's involved. Not, not when you when say I'm going to AA and we're gonna, I'll go buy some alcohol on the way. They let people look at you like, yeah. Huh? <laughs> then you explain to them exactly what you're talking about, and they still go, huh? And, and they still, like, and they still sort of judge you silently. Yes. And they'll tell, they'll tell all the neighbourhood children to avoid you. But they do that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a must run. You're still yeah. not allowed within that, within a hundred yards of that school, are you? <clears throat> well, I live down the road from this. It's a bit difficult. Yeah, well. And I'm not moving. Um, will you shut up, please? We're trying to film. Well, the walls are paper thin. You can hear a gnat fart from space in there. <laughs> okay, we are here. And we're back. We're back. We're not. Like, like The Undertaker at WrestleMania, except we don't have Brock Lesnar pissing on everything. No. 11 and 0. Aye, aye. There's only a few people beating us, and I'm not going to name them. <laughs> we're, before you ask, we're, well, you're going to ask, we're in a different location. We're actually at our mum's. Because we know, he no longer lives with me, you know that anyway. And the mum and I no longer live at my house. they got their own little hat, bungalow. You said, you always get almost a hat then, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Little hat. A little, little a mud bait. Little mud hat. Well, a little mud hat. Well, there seems there. to be about Sorry, a thousand it. cars parked out here. Yeah. Because no one else has parked space. And then they park behind or in front of everyone else. I suppose no one's parked on the fucking grass out here. They, they, can't, they can't see all that shit. Don't turn the camera around, otherwise they'll never get it back in shot. Really? But yeah. There's people, cars, Boring. special people. Yes, unfortunately. You can really hear those two. You can. Natter in a way. Press the window to it. Two secs. Right, where were we? We were here. Ah, oh, scary! Hooray! Hooray. Uh, what were we saying? It's the last auto assembly, unfortunately. All the good things must come to an end, unfortunately. But something else is popping up in its place. TF rising, Nation. Ri TF Nation rising from AA's ashes. So we're burning the hotel down, are we? Yeah. Okay. Must remember to bring the petrol. I've got enough alcohol. Can I bring the flamethrower? We've got enough alcohol. We don't need to spend money on petrol. I'll bring the flamethrower anyway. <coughs> Well, to be fair, actually, it's probably cheaper to get the petrol. It's one pound <laughs> twenty a litre or whatever it is, whereas you're going to be paying upwards of fifteen quid for a litre. Just got to just got to throw it into the bar and watch it go. Yeah. Well, actually, all we've got to throw is an a, a, a attendee on it. He's probably got enough blood alcohol in his system anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking level the place. <laughs> Blowing up the hotel. Yeah, that, that, that's terrorist. That's talk. terrible. We can't do that's that. Terrorist because, talk. Because, fucking... because where's TF Nation going to be next year? We might have to go to Manchester or something. I don't no, we'd to have to Manchester. go back to the Holiday Inn. Hol the balcony. Oh, I don't mind the Holiday Inn. The balcony would be great. We like the balcony. Can we build one outside the, uh, the Hilton? Especially for TF Nation. The balcony. The TF Nation balcony. What's yes! It's going to be made out of wood and bits of, little bits of flotsam from the, from the lake and string and stuck no, together. We'll just, we'll just use all the un unsold bumblebees that ever created. <laughs> There's thousands of them. Millions of the bastards. The Great Yellow Mountain. Yes, the, the, the yellow decking. That would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> They all those darker the moon bumblebees that are still oh, sat yeah. inside like Toys R Us's like you know their own little department for unwanted shit. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell, the stuff that the, the, sh the shelf warming, the shelf warming. I'm surprised. I'm surprised they don't give those things away as entry for everyone who comes in the fucking yeah. room. Yeah, and when you leave, they give you yeah. one as well. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah. Just a, a door, shelf, a door shelf. prize. I, I think you know you open up your bag and find this this darker the moon bumblebee staring back at you. Think, are you taking a piss? No, and then they, then you're you're informed that there is a burning later. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> There's a big pile up back. To go to go with the to go with the uh, energon iron hides and and other shit ones. Avenger Fallen mix ma mix master. Yeah, most revenge. God off. God off. Mo most movie figures. There most you go. most movie figures. Any anything from the darker than moon line. <sighs> anything. Most things from Age of Extinction. Dom Dinobots. I like those. Seen the oversized ones. No. They're quite good. They actually look a lot better. You've also got the die cast ones as well. Still dark size, but they're die cast. They're metal. Yeah. They're black. Black. Why? Why would. Why? 
Why would they be black? Why would they be black? Is it to do with like... Show the, accurate. Is it diversity or something? Yes. It's, di I'm, it's I'm, diversity I'm... in Transformers. Right, yeah. It's, like, it's like, Michael like, Bay trying to be the diverse... Like, like Michael Bay having <laughs> a shit about diversity and racial sensitivity. And um, sexism and all that. And yeah, that. yeah. And women in general. Mm. And it's ever so leather than military. It's, 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 it's sort of like white privilege, the job. <laughs> Ah, we got off topic again, but that's yeah. what these videos are about. We haven't done one of these in ages. No, we haven't. The last one we did actually was just after A last year. Mm. We were supposed to do one at Christmas. We, we didn't. didn't. No. Ha 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 ha, Dad's home, and I'm parked on the drive, filming, and he just looked in, like, bewildered. He's like going... <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's looking at us going, you, you bastards. You pair of bastards. Well, just because my house has got a bigger driveway, mine's bigger than yours. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, um, I managed to, you know, I'm no longer unemployed. Um, stopped working at the cinema, thank fuck. He didn't stop working, they got rid of him. It's a slight difference. Uh, yeah, but I was, wasn't going to mention that. <laughs> I, I was, you know. Be so, truthful, be honest with yourself. If you're not honest uh, with oneself, I, I, I no one's going to be honest with you. I want to be selectively honest, thank you. Oh, okay, anyway. You mean like women? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I apologise. They let him go. It was a. It was a, and it was a, a mutual agreement. It, it, no, it was a very one. It, it was a very one-sided one agreement. Oh, um, you, mean, you mean like a breakup? Yeah, yeah. It was basically yeah. Me, me and Cindy will broke up um, uh, due to how should we say it? Um, general cuntish behaviour. Irreconcilable differences. Hey. Um, it, it, it wasn't you. It was them. Well, it was me actually. <laughs> I I didn't turn up for a shift or two and was late a few times. Anyway. My, my employment history aside, um, yeah, I'm now working for a web design company as a graphic artist. Um, sorry, Matt, this is why Old yeah. Oil House is basically my, my, my job now. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, <coughs> so much, it's really weird because I was, I was only there for like four days and then the boss asked me, do you want to come to London to help pitch to a client? And I was thinking, okay, I'll go to London. Um, so I go to London. Did you see the Queen? I saw a Queen. Uh, yeah. That's an answer for you. <laughs> I don't ask, I don't know when you two went your lunch break, but uh, okay. Nice little, nice little pub. Run by, run by an Irishman with the most amazing accent I've ever heard. Um, so, th it could so thick it could cut through a wall. It was so thick you could use it to knock out a whale. <laughs> but it... No, it was a wonderful place, wonderful little place. Um, yeah, so London was cool. Um, had it, had it really, because where we were going, we had this really sort of, it was sort of, uh, this, the area was kind of like, had like a very high kind of Muslim population, right? We were hungry, so we were worried because all the cafes and, and places were like halal. I think, shit, I'm never going to find a bacon sandwich. Yes, the ultimate bacon sandwich. I'm I, I, we did, we found one and it was good. I actually just bacon, uh, bacon and chips for breakfast. It's good. Man. <laughs> bacon and chips that early in the morning. It's good. Well, you have, well, you have bacon at the Hilton. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I love the Hilton. I, I know, love the Hilton the breakfast. breakfast. Oh. oh, man. Because originally I was only, I think, well, I, I wasn't with you, but I was only going to come down for the Saturday, mm. Sunday. Then I was going over my head thinking, oh, I'm actually going to miss the Friday. I'd rather get there, check in shower then then ponder and do fuck all mm. until the evening get drunk and then get up in the morning and then go for breakfast and then go into the hall rather than getting to the hall and going straight in so yeah. yeah fuck it i managed to get my room the room rate for the first of the friday night the same as my other rate so i'm paying that's good. fuck all that's good i rang him up as well and i was talking to the guy and he's there going oh can i do it this way so we're gonna have to charge you this rate for this night and this night for this one or you've got to swap rooms and i was going for fuck and then he was on hold, and I asked Tash, I said, what do you want to do? She said, oh, we'll just pay the extra and we'll get the big queen, queen size room on. Okay, fair enough. Then he, hung, he, he came back over and he said, um, he said, oh, as we were talking, someone cancelled. Bullshit. Your manager said, just fucking give him the rate. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> someone cancelled when they are on the phone. <laughs> Lie. The supervisor turned around and said, just give him the bloody rate for crying out loud. That's how it is. That's Chris, how it is. That's the thing. That's the thing. When you, when you, work, when you work in that sort of, in that sort of industry, um, I mean, I'm not working as in a hotel, but I know that I know the spiel. You know, working in retail, you pick yeah, these things yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, you know, you can yeah. smell bullshit a mile away. Yeah. Stay out of Gotham. All right, we get back to what assembly here. Now, they everyone's done these videos. Oh, you won't probably watch any of them. But no, no. They've done the hopes and fears again. Yes. Uh, the advice to new attendees, considering it's the last one. What the fuck are you thinking? Should have come years ago. Yeah, yeah. Because well, uh, advice, advice to what? Yeah. 
Go back in time. Yeah, go point. back to 2004 and start yeah. again. Start from the beginning. <laughs> go meet Wally Winger. Yeah. 2004. Yeah. yeah he was a good laugh, he was. Yeah. And, and oh, don't forget to, what was it, 2009 with, with um, um, Scott McNeil. Don't forget to Just molest him in my lift. Don't, don't molest him in the elevator. <laughs> oh, sorry, don't. Sorry, I think I got confused that year. You know, yeah. Don't molest him in the elevator. Yeah. Because, you know, basically, that, whoever, whoever did that sport it forever. Yeah, because it'd have been fun to have back. Mm. Greg Berger would be fun to have back, wouldn't it? Mm. If you'd ever speak to me. <laughs> Doesn't like you. No. Maybe because, no. I think at that time your beard was better than his, I'm not sure. <laughs> At least, at least, at least I'm not Mr. Blanchard. I know, he disappeared the face of the earth, he did mm. after that. I think he's buried somewhere in the uh, Holiday Inn. Probably. Probably when we're not allowed back. Yeah. <laughs> they, found, they, they found his body. They found, they found Strangled his with his own... They, his they, own found, they found his petrified corpse with a glass of wine in one hand. <laughs> Being strangled with his own lanyard. Yeah. <laughs> Be Grimlock, not nice dino. If you haven't been to AA yet, you... you what? Really? You can't have a Transformers van living in the UK. It's not really an excuse unless you, li unless you live like, you know, the other side of the country up north in the, in the Highlands. I mean, you know, I've, I've had very, very lean years and I still make it. Yeah. So money's no excuse. One year we didn't have any money at all. Yeah. We had to get a bailout. Yeah. But we don't speak of that anymore. No, we don't speak of anything at all now, so. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, as, as hopes and fears, I have got no hopes and I've got no fears because we know what to expect. Hmm. Even with TF Nation comes along, it's going to be virtually the fucking same. Or is it? Well, I hope it's different. I hope I, I, change is good. Change is good. Hey, fear change. Um, <laughs> hey, fear change in the outside world. I'm cold in the woods we'll after, after me. me. There will be. I think. I think TF Nation will be similar. Similar. That, the, 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 just hanging around in the bar, getting drunk, and then that wandering will, that'll, off. That'll, that'll be the same. But yeah. I think. I think the convention itself will have. I think they'll try and do the best they can to sort of imitate AA because yeah. I, I imagine they, 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 they really they want to get they want their own thing. They want to be their own convention. Yeah. Not follow suit with another convention. But at the same time, they want to keep things enough things familiar so that yeah. everyone feels comfortable. That, that, that's like going there and they're, they're trying to be botcon, so they, yeah. they start charging you for autographs and shit. Yeah. And that's no. when you don't want to. And no. you got and you got some this is standing with four bodyguards around them. This is why this is why AA was so good because it was non-profit. <laughs> On, the dealers on, a dealers. Sun, on a Sunday, the I'll put the, the prices up. The dealers are the dealers. Yeah. They're there to make money, whereas organisers, yeah, just uh, it's all for charity. With the exception, of course, of, of Toy Fu, who are charity, who, who do, which, for, which do we buy from every year. We, I make a point to buy something from Toy Fu. Two or three year. things, yeah, four things. So go and buy they, something from Toy Fu. They've normally got a good selection of Botcon stuff. They've got a good selection of G1 stuff as well. Yeah, but then on Sunday when they have their blowout sale, you can't get to the table. No, no. Because some dickhead just stands there in front of you and goes, "Oh, roof." Go, Dush, and you're going, out my way, Captain Cockroach. I want to get that. <laughs> and as you get Cock closer, you'll just, just skip yeah, start to the bar. That's, that's the reason why ah. he, he, he reigns supreme, Captain Cockroach. He just stands of course, at a table and goes, Of course, jokes, jokes on him, because all the, all the G1 stuff just dissolves because it's that old. And he had a gold plastic. Gold plastic, um, paint, pla uh, white plastic yellowing. He yellows instantly with him. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> fucking green with him. <laughs> Have you ever seen a green jet of fire? That's weird, man. Oh, do you want to hear some fun news? Do you want to hear some fun news about um, Toys R Us and Hasbro? They've had a falling out. Haven't they now? According to my source, he's got a guy who used to work at Toys R Us, who left recently. Yeah. He said that Hasbro are less likely to get more exclusive to Toys R Us because the Toys R Us are just being knobs about things. Uh, but right. there is the other thing as well. Toys R Us UK and Toys R Us Europe are going to be one thing. So any European exclusives will be over here. It should be. Yeah. Doesn't mean fuck all this time, does it really? Because no. we don't get anything. Europe never gets shit anyway. We well, certainly don't. It's get the anyway. States. You went from the yeah. States, but then the States didn't get stuff either. Because <clears throat> when I went to New York, I, cause I, I went to the Toys R Us, and all they had was Dark of the Moon, not Dark of the Moon, um, you didn't Age get, of Extinction. You didn't go to FAO Schwartz, though, did you? And no, you should have done. I forgot about that place. I did type in toy shops on my phone, and that didn't pop up. It should have done. It's the largest toy shop <laughs> in the world. I didn't spot it, though. It's like was four it. fucking floors worth. I, I, next time I'll go. Next time I'll just go there. Next time. No, I just went to every comic book shop I could find. I went to um, other people, thousands of them. No, there's, there's, there's quite a few, and half of fucking walking distance, is fucking long over track. Because one was, um, oh yeah, I went to a comic book shop that Nick told me about. Oh, what was it called? It was a uh, Tokyo Arena, not Tokyo Arena. Oh, Nick knows which one it was, and that's where I found my MP Wheeljack and MP Exhaust. Mm. Bought those ribs. Quite cheap actually, those two words to be fair. Dollar wise, it was plus tax. 
plus tax. I fucking hated that over there, plus tax. Yeah, because most states have their own tax. It's like a reasonable, it's like, oh, that's a reasonable price for, was it, I, when I bought Murder Master for Forbidden Planet, $29.99. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. It was $32. Like, yeah, fucking tax. <laughs> then when I was in Midtown Comics on by the Times Square, not Times Square one, Station, the Union Station, whatever it's fucking called. Ah, oh, whatever. The other one, mm -hmm. three. I have no I, idea. I've I, been to I, I found all of the limbs for a man at all. Cool. Apart from Jack, because I've already got him. Yeah. Because they released him over here and didn't release the rest of them. No, that's stupid. And um, I found those, but I didn't find Air Raid. The last iron for Superior. Mm. But he's appeared in Argos catalogue, along with Murder Master. And Hasbro have actually sent an email, they've actually said someone's got an email that's telling us that Wave 2 will never be released in the UK. So what the fuck are they doing in the Argos catalogue? Yes. It made, that may just be stock images though. Yes, it is. So you can basically have a go at them. So basically say, that's not, you don't sell that. I want it. Get it. But no, that's one that I've got to pick up AA. An Air Raid. I haven't got any of the Combiner War stuff. I'm yes, guessing they're really quite cool. I um, know, I want to, but that's, that's the I whole. got the... Uh, perf uh, I'd the... like to get Devastator, if I can. <sighs> we all, who wants Devastator? Put your hand up. The fact is, they're not going to have... A, they're not going to have enough. Huh? You've got Devastator. What? The Combiner Wars one? Yeah. No? Alright. Really? No. He's not as tall as Metroplex. No, he's not. His back end is mid-section-y. But he still looks nice, mm. but I've seen the, the add-on kits for it. It gives him a proper... Do you know Dr. Wu, mm. the third-party company, have actually making an entire new Mixmaster? They have, yeah, yeah. yeah for the deck. Yeah. <laughs> Just to swap the leg out. I think I know why the Mixmaster is the shape he is, though, on the Hasbro the one. one. Scaling. So all the vehicles are in scale with each other. So basically, it's just a very large... Do you know what? That would be the first time Hasbro's actually cared about scaling. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. They don't scale. Nothing scales. Because technically, the, if you did... Any, any, if you had... Um, any Bruticus. Defensor. Yeah, Defensor or Bruticus. They're a perfect example of scaling gone wrong. Yeah. Whereas Menasaur is a very good example of yes, scaling right. Yes, because big trucks, small cars. They work. Uh, I would say roughly for Superion as well. Because if all the, all the jets are mm. the same size and the big one, yeah. yeah. That might work. But no, um, Superior would be fucking massive. <laughs> I mean, be. I mean, size of a fight, Concorde. Fight, fighter jets aren't small. I oh, mean, yeah. come on. I mean, Superior, Superior would be considerably larger than Menasaur. And then, and then you've got things like um, I'm not going to go for the actual animals like on Predator King because yeah. they would be off fucking sizes. Yeah. But they're robotic animals, so yeah. they can get away with it. Yeah. How how would Computron work though? I don't know what size bots they're supposed to be. I think Computron would suffer from the same problem that. Um, Brutus. Brutus and and, and uh, the other one. Um, Defensor. Defensor suffer from. Because if, if you get... Because you've got, you've got Lightspeed, who's like... Is it Lightspeed? No, the little... The bike, I forget yeah. the name. Uh, yeah, but Lightspeed? No, Lightspeed's a car. Oh, no. no uh, Answer the postcard. <laughs> Let's see. There's, 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 there's Scout Shot, there's Nose Cone, Lightspeed. The Wild Rider? No, no that's not the last no. thing. Um... I don't know, it's, it's weird. I, I'm, I'm getting old and I can't remember all the names. I'm old and To be fair, I mean, there's a lot of names to remember when it comes to Transformers. And yeah. if you can remember them all, then, you know, more power to you. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, but you've seen, you've seen that they're in the Commander Wars Bruticus. You've seen that, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Basically, it's, just, it's basically that um, the Alpha Bravo mold. Yeah. Is Blast Off. No. No, that's Vortex. Vortex, yeah. But they're using a jet as Blast Off, which makes more sense. Yes, that does make more sense. But it's then I've seen a custom, they've got. Uh, an Alpha Bravo repainted in the right colour yeah. and they've got the back end of an Air Raid and stuck it on the back and it actually looks like a space shuttle. Ah. That's a custom. Yeah. But there you go. But they make, it's what they want to do because they've got but the, um, the perfect, offense, perfect effect kit. You know, yeah. And those are clicks on the hands and gives them proper hands and yeah. that. I've got it for the Menasaur. The problem is one foot is not really secure and it will fall off now and again. I've got to basically make you it gotta, thicker. You, you've got to... I've got to make it thicker. You've got to tighten the hole. But then I'm, I want to get the white feet kit for our superior because black ones but I'm going to get a black one for defensor <sighs> which is a hazard they're not swap should they, hang on would they be swappable what black and white feet yeah between the two you can do what you like everything fits so it's a bit like so it's a bit they're a bit like Scramble City stuff. So you, you can, can put use, it, you can whack it all together because the Hasbro. Well, just get. Well, don't even bother with the, with the effect kits. Just swap the feet round when you get yeah, but the, defensor the, and the, the defender kits are shit. No, no, no. The, the superior comes with black. Yeah. Defensor comes with black. If, oh. you, if you buy the Japanese Takara one, he comes with white hands and white uh, feet. Right. 
but they're, they're not very good if you ask me for feet and hands. There's, to be fair, they're surprisingly stable. I'll give it that. Well, apart from Menasaur, because he's got hips like, well... Megatron? Shit. He's got hips like MP Megatron. Yeah, he just goes... He does not fit together. My, my MP Megatron hasn't left the box in like two not, years. Mine stay in the box as well. But then again, mine was on top of a top a shelf. I do want for to, years. I, so was mine actually. And he never thought yeah. he never fell over. Yeah. Despite even my G1 rod, my um, my Matthew Rodimus falling off somehow, all devastated. Remember that? Your remember? Rodimus arms just popped. It off. just fell off. It just flew off. Yeah. Do you remember after one AI, I bought a Devastator G1 Devastator, and somehow he fell off the shelf. But how he jumped over the world's smallest Megatron Starscream <laughs> and thrust, fuck knows how he did that. Because he was behind the or he's. Committed suicide. I reckon they're they just turned around and tripped him up. <laughs> If we're probably walking and go, am I, am I, is there a step there? Yeah, carry on. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Yeah, that was just random shit. I remember all the random stuff of that. Like in the middle of the night when my uh, uh, Beast, Beast, Beast Machine's um, Optimus went off randomly in the middle of the night. Oh, God, that oh, was creepy as shit. That was creepy. I blame my, um, it wasn't Thundercracker, it was my MP Skywarp I got, wasn't it? My Takara Skywarp. Yeah. Yeah. He fell onto the box and it went off. <laughs> when was that? That's 2009, I think that was. Yeah. 2009 was a good year. 2009 was a brilliant year because it was one year. The first year we stayed all, all weekend. Yeah, yeah. Before that, we were only staying for the weekends. Because when you visit, when A first started, it was only that, one day. Wasn't that the that that was the year of the sullied and unusual incident, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. That's, that's, that's when Johnny was playing me with Magnus all night. That was it. <laughs> Uh, this, this is when this is when Johnny this is when Johnny explained to us in great detail how to, to make, make an orco. orco. <laughs> oh, is it, I don't know if he's coming this year. I don't know. He either. has to. Oh man, just thinking of the old the old stuff at the old day in that was hilarious. Oh, so <laughs> I, did I say? I, I think I saw him again when I was in Birmingham with my anniversary package. I, I think so. I saw him. I did see him again. And I was just. I was staying at the. I was staying at the same hotel. I was staying at the um, Holiday Inn. I walked onto the balcony and I was there going, ah, oh, memories. I remember. I remember that balcony. There was there was a ritual smashing of an Energon Ironhide. It was boxed as well. It was still boxed was, as well. I think he won it as a raffle prize and he yeah. smashed it to pieces. Yeah. No, no, it was the repaint one. No, that yeah, the Rap Prize was a repaint of the Energy Iron Hide. Yeah. And someone did smash up an Energy Iron Hide outside yeah. of the thingy. And I was looking at it going, oh, I want one of those. You've got one now. I know, I've got one. He makes a lovely pair of trousers. <laughs> yeah, there's a quick. There's my list. Polyon, yeah. I want to get a Polyon. You're going to get all of those or what? But well, you think I'm going to get all these MPs? The Starscream, the Goldberg, Bumblebee, Nemesis Prime, G2, Sideswipe, Normal Sideswipe, Prowl, Hot Rod. Animated Blackout, come on, that's going to cost me a small fortune. Bot Constanticons, that's going to cost me another small fortune. I might be able to get the TFO Prime though, and the Voyager Bulk Head, the League of Bumblebee. The I wanna, oh, I'm still after a fucking Henke Nemesis. I read, wasn't it one year that you were, you were going to buy one? Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the Hasbro one, and they wouldn't, wouldn't select you because they couldn't find any. They already packed them away in the box. Yeah. And they're I'm, only 45 quid! <laughs> You try and find one now for forty-five quid in box. Packed away. Less than knock off. I, I would have said, yeah. Had I known, had I known, I would have said, get the fuckers out of the box. I'm, I'm going to give I'm you. Pay, I I'm will give you forty-five fucking quid. <laughs> Surely that's worth getting something that out was, of the box. That, that was uh, Toys and Games. But Toys and Games are in the same same boat as Kapow because they've got a shop. They don't need to sell everything off. No. If you go to a fucking like, table, they will sell things cheap. They will bargain. They mm. will bargain. Banter. They will bargain. Bargain. I was looking at Kapow. Pow is selling the Takara Master MP10 for less than that, than the Toys R Us one. Wow, how much is it? I think the, the 149 well, for the... The Toys R Us one was 99 pounds I should know this because I bought it from Toys R Us. Which version? The Year of the Horse version? I, th I think... One? No, no, it was the Year of the... Year, it was the um, no, a, no, the Asia, Asia exclusive. It comes in the Toys R Us by box. Okay, fair enough. It was like 150 quid. And List. And the um, see that. and the other one was like 140. I don't know. I bought I bought mine for uh, 9999. Yeah. Well, it's never gonna be 9999 again. Oh, because I bought it about a week after it came out. Yeah. I actually had some money on me. Because you had disposable income, and, and I, I was what I will. I haven't rest. had I haven't had this such disposable income in a very long time. No, I worked my fucking ass off for that disposable income. So I put up with a lot of shit. I put up with a lot of twats. Excuse my language, but I do. Yeah. All right. 
the DX9 Splinter is the uh, third party um, wrecker. And the, where is it? Transex uh, Ollie is um, Wheelie. I only want those two for a stop motion, and that's it. You know, the, the, the Splinter's a quite a nice figure anyway. But if, <laughs> if I can walk away from AA with, with, with an MP10 and a Polyon, I'll be a happy man. I'm on a Megs. Eh, you can't go wrong. See, I, I got the um, Combined Wars Megatron, the G1 version. Yeah. Which to me is not G1 version. It's, it should be G2. It is it's it's more, should be a G2. It's more of a G2 than a G1. Megatron but it does look good. He looks nice, yeah, but then there's that X9 kit they put on him. Mm. In robot mode, I must admit, it gives him thicker thighs, bigger feet, going on the thigh. Yeah. But in tank mode, it looks shit. Yeah. Because basically, you just take it all off and click it on the top, and it's like, right. Yeah. So, no. Nothing. Do you know what that is? What? That's me, not rising to the bait. Uh, why not? <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't trust that battery. It keeps going from three to two to one. And back to one again. Maybe it's... That's a fresh battery though, so... Maybe it's just absorbing power from <laughs> space or something. I don't know, we have to just talk a bit fast and get this over and done. Oh, 30 minutes now. It's day three again now. Oh well. And two again. So we're going to explain what's going with the battery. Just, just... No, we're not doing no. it. No, I don't know, because it's just dead air. Um... Dead air, that's a good thing. Yeah, it could be. I, I, I thought of a good one. Drop stitch. He's going to the sewing machine. Oh. No, the, be the best one was what Ray said, back wipe, and it's a septic tank. You've got almost what? You've got two nearly complete lines. You've got almost all the animated and all the prime stuff. Yes. Um, the, only two the only one I actually cared about completing was the animated. Mm. Because I animated to me was the best one. It was one of the best lines in the best shows. Yeah, I mean, in terms of consistency, it's like... Yeah. There's only a few, there's a few little eggs and problems, but every line has some problems. Apart from the new R.I.D. line, <laughs> most of them are shit. That, that line is a problem. Sorry to say, it is. Their, fl their flagship show and their flag line coming out isn't, doesn't hold a candle to the Combiner Wars, which they're making into a cartoon. Oh, they? So it's an adult-themed cartoon. Oh, it's, oh. It's, it's pointed at, it's on, on Netflix. Oh, so like a collector's... No, it's going to be on um, IGN somehow. So it's more pointed at the adult collector. Oh, right, that'd be so cool. Apparently, it's quite dark. Ooh, good. We like to see uh, that. What I'd love to see is an animated adaptation of Last Stand of the Wreckers. Vicious. Right? Yeah. I'm trying to think what film that would be like. <laughs> What's a film where everyone dies in it? <laughs> um, it would be like. Uh, it'd, be, it'd basically be sort of the robot version of Game of Thrones. <laughs> yes, it would be. You know, I've seen like Reservoir Dogs. Everyone just dies. <laughs> Don't get too attached to people, I like to say. Oh, have you seen um, Master Migration's third party impact all? I think so, so yeah. Spot. He actually looks quite good. But then they're now TF um, Transformers Club has re released. They've got a re, re pick me mold into. Yeah. Thingy. As they do. I don't, I don't own any collector's clubs, club stuff at all. No. Because they're ridiculously expensive. But you do own a Keith's Fantasy Club item. Yes, it was an impulse buy that it was last year you before. Same year, actually. It was 80 quid. 80 quid. How did you call it 80 quid an impulse buy? But it was sit, it was sit, sit, sit stack. stack. Just sat on Kapow's table. They're 80 quid second run, so it was a nicer version. Yeah. And we were just looking at it going, you know oh, what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So I bought, I bought, I bought that, and uh, I, think it was bought, I bought that a jet fire. I kind of hope there aren't too many uh, impulse buys. I, I can afford it, unless of course, unless of course they're for stuff that I want anyway. And I'm thinking, yeah. I'll have that. See, I, I, I do imp that's, that's a question I was going to ask people actually. What is the most like cheap something you bought solely because it was cheap? Yeah. Anything you just you sort of went, I love that. It's cheap. Is it anything you had? I remember I bought, um... I bought yeah. Wheelie first. First thing I bought one year was Wheelie. G1 Wheelie. Go away. <laughs> you're, you're weirdo. I know. I, I thought, starters I need to go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the first thing you bought. Yeah. Oh, Wheelie. And even George is looking at you like... 
when George actually was collecting at the time. He yeah, looked, it, and he looked, it, it, at, it, looked, it looked with at, evil eyes. He looked at me with disgust and horror, like I just, like I just denounced, um, like I just like said that gays cause hurricanes or something. And <laughs> oh, it was Transmetal Two, Pterosaur. Mm. We painted a purple version of him. Yeah. Have you seen that? No. And then there's a re there's a blue and not blue, red and creamy colour into a Dinobot swoop. Mm -hmm. Two pound. I bought him because he was two pound. <laughs> I bought two actually, one the year, one the year after. Both for two pound. I'm trying to think of uh, other sort of impulse buys I bought because they were cheap. Um, I bought... I, I, usually anything I buy from mum. Yeah, we always buy something from my mother. Which is a bit, weird. A bit strange, but. I usually kind of have a look uh, around and say. It's got to be a car, though, hasn't it? It's got to be a car. The thing is, though, it's kind of running out of <laughs> relatively decent Should car. Should we bots. just give her Bumblebee? <laughs> Uh, she's got enough of those. Should we get a Manosphere Bumblebee for her? You usually do this big. This may be true, but that's a masterpiece we're well, talking I, I, about. I don't know, how, how big is it? About the same size, <laughs> a little bit of it. So isn't about the same size as the classics? Isn't it? Fair enough. He's, Fair enough. he's tiny. I, I was going to buy him in New York, but he was, 40, he was about $45. And they're going, though that's a good deal actually. I was well. there going, but then Wheeljack was $45 as well. I went, yeah, Wheeljack. <laughs> Will Jack, okay, Will Jack probably better value for money, but forty five dollars for a for an MP Bumblebee ain't a bad deal. Yeah, so because you're gonna be paying you'll be paying you'll be paying that in quid over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I uh, so you'll be paying like you'll have like a, a like forty percent markup. I wouldn't yeah. mind getting a massive Bumblebee though, because I did play when I was at Ray's. Play with that when I go in January of his birthday. I did sit and play with his uh, his Bumblebee. It was quite it's quite a little transformation thing really. But he's just tiny, that's the only thing I didn't like. He should have came with Ultra Magnus. Hmm. Shouldn't it? I should have been. Without a jet price, a bit. So? Pe Magnus. People would still buy it though. Are you, are you getting a Magnus? I don't know. I haven't. Um, yeah. the, the battery died, and um, now I'm using my phone. Yeah, and I keep looking at the screen when, is, the, when it's down. The camera's yeah, there. Yeah, the camera's down there. It's, this is this is selfie time. Let's see duck face. Oh, delicate. Now if that drop, my thumb will probably break. Um, do you want a cushion? No, I've got, there, just I've got no cushions. It's just you're just gonna have to sort of grab and catch. Yeah, it's just basically poised. And I'm just gonna be very careful when I move my feet. Very really poised. Actually, it looks better. Yeah, we just said the camera died on us, so I'm using my it's phone. A be, it's a better angle, quite frankly, than, than your camera. Well, we should have lowered the camera in a bit, then. It looks, well, it's, a, it's a newer camera than that, so... We just should just ask you want tea, in a, in a proper British way. It means you want tea. Or a pint. Depends where you are. Yeah. If you're in a pub. Depends on the time, doesn't it? Well, actually, it's half seven. So. But we're not in a pub. We're not in a pub. All right, we're in mum's. <laughs> oh, for... Oh, I'm on a topic again because the camera fucking failed. I'm now got to edit this together now. Uh, we were talking about Magnus and Bumblebees and yes, MPs. MPs. What are the tracks? Tracks looks nice. MP tracks. He's not. He's September. He's released, yeah. so we're not going to see him at AA. No. If someone, someone gets a fucking sample of it, mm. like Ben. See Ben's collectibles. He gets so much stuff before everyone else. He's like. He's like a. He's like a. It's like a much more likable Optibotomus, isn't he? Or PM. PM. Yeah. PM? Yeah. I don't, more, I, don't, yeah. I, I, I didn't like PM because basically he had no enthusiasm in what he was doing. Yeah. Octopus was alright, and then he got very arrogant about himself, and then mm. he got, went off into funny thing. I don't watch any of his stuff anymore. No. Nah. If I watch PM stuff, I normally flick through, just have a quick look at the bottom, and go, oh, yeah. that's a nice thing. And, and it bends, I will sit and watch all of it, despite how long it is. Mm. But he has some good stuff. I even watches um these knockoff crap reviews and stuff. But see, Graham's back on now and again as well. I haven't watched any, any of Graham's he, stuff. He's, in a while. he's the one with the loads of the um, the, um thingy combined. Uh, Age of Extinction, oversized. He's, yeah, he's he's kind of gone into the knockoff territory. He loves he's, knockoffs. He's got everything he's, else. Because he's bought everything else, so he might as well just buy all the fake stuff. Yeah, he might as yeah. well. Because that's we've got the DM diecast stuff. That's why I want to. They're on Sir Toys, and they're on there, but the, the, big, was, the big ones aren't there. I was so. very, I was quite, because I remember watching his review of the oversized Darker Than Moon Megatron. Fucking, that thing's tiny. You know that. <laughs> well, the, thing, the thing is, it, it doesn't scale with anything, that's the thing. It's it slightly doesn't different. scale? Mm -hmm. oh. It's too big, it's too big it's, for a leader class. Yeah. Track mode scales well, though. 
Mm, no, it's still bigger. Is it too big? Is it bigger than Prime? Is it? Still bigger than Prime. They scale about the same size ish. No. Oh well, it's Mad Max Megatron anyway. Mad Max Megatron, which let's face it, should that should have, that should have had a cameo in Fury Road. Oh, Fury Road's actually a really good film. Fury Road's amazing. <clears throat> Best film I've seen all year, and that includes Avengers. Actually, no, no, actually, no, that's a, that's a, no, that's not strictly true. Another good film I watched this year was Ex Machina. Oh, Tasha watched that on the plane over to New York. I didn't watch it. It's an amazing film. I didn't watch anything on the way back because my screen was broken. Are we taking a trip to the Cash and Carry at some point? Yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah. Can we get some more uh, pork scratchings? Booze run! Get some pork scratchings, oh. stick them on the wall. Baz wants some more drinks, so I'll get you a drink, Baz. I deliver to, I deliver to Baz, he doesn't mind. <laughs> I did that last year. Cheers, Palios. I, did, I, just brought, I just brought the cans to him and deliver it. Delivery? He went, oh, thank you. You know cans of Foster's you had last year? Mm. Do you know they're still in the cupboard? Are they? They're probably... They're out of date. They're well out of date, I should imagine. But Are they best before or used by? I don't know. I didn't check. Um, I'm sure they'll get you pissed. Uh, and sure, give you the shit. I'm sure they'll give me some uri urinary infection or something. I probably I wouldn't drink. No, I'll just get a load of Comfort. Yeah, well. Because the fruit cider. Know. Fuck yeah. Are you in the fruity cider now? I'm a fruity cider man. That's what I'll I drink be, now. I'll convert it, man. Yeah. I, don't, I don't drink Strongbow because that's horrible. No, no. Fruity cider. I drink, the, I drink it's the cover. future. It's the future. Because George wants that as well. Mm. So I might as well buy eight, 80 crates of that. Just buy a shitload of Copperberg. But this probably will be the last video for AA from both mm. of us anyway. I don't, we really I, ought to do one at AA. That's that's, got this is phone. what I'm trying to do. This is the, Listen to me, people. Listen to me, people. Right. I want to try and do an actual get in the van live. Don't, I don't mean broadcast it live i mean we'll film it sat here the door will be completely open and people will stand the other side with an audience mm. and you can heckle and do what you like and we'll just throw bottles at you and beat but you remember better. you heckle us we go home safe on the knowledge it's a roast chicken waiting for us in the oven anyway <laughs> yeah that's what i would like to try and do because i think that would be quite fun it? You can throw a question. We do. We do a Q and A. Yeah. Live Q and A. There yeah. you go. We do a live Q and A. Probably when we're all a bit drunk because it'd be mm. more funny that yeah. way. Yeah. We can have guests come in. We'll have guests. I, I so, will. I will step out. Or Rob will step yeah, out. Yeah. One, one of us will step, step out, out and I'll be a guest. The guests will come in. Yeah. Try George. Well, I know George wants to yeah. wants to sit here, and I know Gerard, Gerard will. I'll just have Gerard and George sit. We can instead. get. <laughs> we can get Peter Spellas out of here. Can get in my van. Get in the van. We can get Peter in here. Get in my van. We'll need to build like an actual bar. I could so easily. We could pretend to be like. I a, could easily build a bar. I just don't want to. <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have the pork scratches on the back wall, all the booze, and then just sort of like, yeah, and pretend to like pour it. You know, mime uh, mime, mime the pumps, <laughs> and then just hand a bottle. The bottle. Do you get a reverse bottle opener. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, to me. Oh yeah. So alive, get in the van would be great. Probably I tried to do that last year, but I think we were all too bit pissed to do anything. Yeah, we were very drunk. Well, no, we we did it. All. We had a, we had the, the whole Gerard's band in the van. Yeah, we got them all in the van. But in you the forgot room. to put the camera on. Yeah, the camera's upstairs in the, in the room. But now I have my phone, which is like I'll bring. I'll leave my little stand in here because I've also got my phone. I've got um, little lenses, mm. turn it at a wide angle, and fish eye and all the rest of it. Jolly good. Jolly good show, chaps. You were there. Stop touching yourself. I judge you. I think with that, with that, with that bombshell, um, it's time it, to, it's, it's time it's time to, to end. Time to end.